Hi, my name is John Thomas. I'm with Technical Marketing for BMC Software. And today, we're going to talk about the NetApp BMC Partnership for Managing Secure Multi-Tenant Environments. In order to improve infrastructure efficiency and drive down costs, many companies are moving from a siloed data center model to a shared virtualized environment. This doesn't mean you have to settle for slower performance and weaker security. With the secure multi-tenancy architecture from VMware, Cisco, and NetApp, you can cut costs while still maintaining the performance and security from a traditional data center. You might be wondering, how does BMC Software fit into this model? Well, BMC Software provides business service management across the storage, network, and server infrastructures. BMC provides a self-service portal and automated service provisioning to deliver the required infrastructure with minimal administrative support. Let's start our journey with BMC's My Services portal. We're now logged into the My Services portal. If we look near the top, we can see that we're currently logged in as the cloud tenant, Alan Albrook. Now starting from the top left, we can see instant summary information about the number of servers that have currently been provisioned. Below that, we can see a list of cloud services, including server, network, and storage actions. Below my service instances, we can see filters that help us to quickly identify servers by group or OS type. Then, if we go to the table of service instances, we can select the service instance, see the instance details, and even perform actions on that instance like power on, power off, or add storage. For the next portion of this demo, I've logged in as a brand new cloud tenant. His name is Joe Unser. Since Joe does not have any infrastructure currently provisioned, I'm going to start by creating a new network container. A network container is a virtualized network within a larger network infrastructure. In our case, we're using Cisco's BlockEye architecture to achieve maximum security and scalability. The first option that I have is the network package. This allows us to deploy different architectures based off of the customer's requirements. We might have a basic network container, which could consist of a simple VLAN segmenting off that customer's network from other customers or something so large as the Platinum with a dedicated network with public and private firewalls and public and private load balancer capabilities. I'm going to go ahead and select this package and since we'll say Joe is in an R&D organization we're going to call his container development. Now if we had multiple data centers, uh, we could select a specific location where we would like to deploy this network container. In this case, we just have Dallas, Texas. Now I'm going to submit this request, and that's going to trigger our BMC BladeLogic network automation product to start deploying the necessary configurations. I'm now logged into the BMC BladeLogic network automation tool. Inside, we can see our jobs have currently started firing and are updating the network devices. Currently, the FWSM module is being updated to create a new firewall context. BMC Blade Logic for Networks updates the devices using templates. And these templates are essentially parameterized network configuration changes that get merged into the current runtime config. Now that we've provisioned our network container, it's time to create some storage for us to deploy our VMs. We'll start by giving the storage a name. I'm just going to call this VM Store 1, and I'm going to request the size 150 gigabytes. I now have a service level that's associated with my storage service inside of the NetApp Operations Manager. I'm going to select Gold and submit my request. If we were to take and look at this from a cloud administrator point of view, which would be somebody who works on the cloud, not a tenant, 
uh, we would see if we look inside of NetApp's management console uh, or operations manager, we can see where we have so, some storage services defined. And a storage service is made up of a primary provisioning policy as well as a protection policy. And this is what we're using to drive our selections inside of the My Services portal. So a gold selection corresponds with gold SLA policy, which has a gold SLA NAS policy for provisioning, and then a protection policy that includes local backups only. Now we just deployed a data set and requested 150 gigabytes of storage. So if we come take a look at the data set view, we can see that we have a data set. And then if we look at the provisioning view for that data set, we can see that we have provisioned a volume with 150 gigabytes. And this interaction is done using NetApp's APIs called from BMC's Atrium Orchestrator. So again, we're going to peel back the covers and we're going to take a look at the infrastructure as if we were a cloud administrator and see what else it, it has done. And if we look here at our vCenter client, we can see that in the C4 environment, we have added a data store, VM store one. So it's currently sitting out there and it's ready for us to start provisioning virtual machines. Now that we've created our network container, and provisioned our storage, we're ready to create some new server instances. So we're back here inside of the My Services portal. Again, I'm logged in as the cloud tenant Joe Unser. And I'm going to select New Server Instance. Here we can see a list of offerings that we have available. We've got very simple offerings like Red Hat 5 or more complicated offerings like SharePoint 2007. I'm going to select Windows 2003 and hit Next. At this point, I have the option to install applications after the VM has completed provisioning. And it's done using BMC's BladeLogic server automation product, which gives you a nice, easy GUI for defining your installation packages. And then it allows you to manage your application packages separate from your VMs. Additionally, we have the option of enabling monitoring using one of BMC's service assurance products. We can also run compliance scans against the server that gets provisioned, verifying that the provisioned server meets the compliance standards of our security department. We can enable remote access ports on the server's internal firewall. I'm going to go ahead and select RDP. Now we get to give some information about the destination where we would like to place this server. I'm going to start here by selecting a group and I'll select cloud and I'll give it the instance prefix cloud. Now I'm going to give it an expiration date. We've made this a required field that way when a user requests a VM we always give it an end date and then when that end date arrives we have the ability to notify the customer and find out if they would like to extend their server instance. I'm going to give the server that gets deployed a password. Now I have the option to either select a system location and have it default into a specific network container or I'm going to select the specific zone within the network container where I'd like to deploy. Since we provisioned a platinum network container, we actually have three private zones and three public zones. And these zones can be used to host a multi-tier application um, with some rules in between each of the zones. I'm going to select public zone one. Now we get to select what storage we would like to use. Again, we can see the storage that we provisioned and only we can see that storage and it's VM store one. We get a summary screen and now I'm going to submit the request. If we refresh the page, we can see that the server instance has been added to our instances table. We can see that the activity status is pending approval for create. BMC drives everything through the ITIL process, 
So even in a pre-approved change like this one, we're still gonna create the change ticket and track the progress. Since the change was pre-approved, it's automatically moved into the provisions, provisioning state. We're gonna check back with it in a minute when it's gotten a little bit further. Now, if we check back in the My Services portal just a couple minutes later, we'll see that we have our Cloud29 server has been created. Next, we can click the Connect button and actually log into the server right from the portal. Now I'll type in my password that I selected during the provisioning and I have an RDP session into the server instance that was just deployed. So just to recap what we've gone over, we used BMC software to provision network containers on Cisco devices and then we used BMC software to provision storage on NetApp filers. And then finally, we used BMC software to provision virtual machines in a VMware hypervisor environment. And all of that was integrated through our My Services portal. So as you begin to implement your secure multi-tenancy architecture, we hope that you'll think of BMC as your cohesive management solution. Thank you very much.